Hi everyone. Today we're going to be drawing a California quail. So gather up your set of pencils and a regular pencil, an eraser, and some paper. And let's get started. Okay everybody, we are going to be drawing the California quail. And I've drawn one here. This is what um, one version of the drawing can look like. It's a California quail, and we're going to try to take up the entire page, okay? And what you're going to be needing, um, as I mentioned earlier, you'll need your colored pencils and a regular pencil. Always have your pencil sharpener ready because the leads on your pencils can break and you may need to sharpen them, and it's better just to have it close by than have to search for it. And then an eraser and I'll tell you why you're gonna need an eraser in a minute. But we're gonna start with using um, the regular pencil. So I'm gonna put my colored pencils over to the side and I'm going to pick up my regular lead pencil. And what I want you to do with the pencil is I want you to divide your paper in four squares. So um, you're going to be laying your paper down in a landscape format, which is um, the paper is going horizontal versus this. This would be considered portrait, and this is horizontal. So you want your paper to be going in this direction. And what, what I want you to do the very first thing is to divide your paper into four squares. So you're gonna be going from the top, find the middle, of the top of the paper and the middle of the bottom paper and draw a really light line because you're going to erase this later really light line from that dot to that dot just straight down and then do the same thing find the middle of the side of your paper over here and the middle of the other side and draw a dot and then try to draw just a straight line across it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be erasing it. And really we're using those two lines as a starting point to drawing this uh, California quail. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is right in the middle of this, of these four squares, or now they're actually rectangles, these four rectangles, you're going to be drawing an oval, but I don't want you to put an oval over the entire center. I want you to have less of the oval at the top of this line and more of the oval at the bottom of this, the center line. And what I mean by that is, if you can see this, so there's the beginning of the oval right there, and kind of stretch your oval over, and then make a a larger part of the oval like this and it's sort of the shape of an egg so there's a smaller section of the oval is above the center line and more of the oval is on the bottom of this horizontal line so that's your that's the beginning of your quail and that's his body Okay, so now we're going to be drawing his head, and what you will be doing is taking your pencil, you're, we're going to do the entire quail drawing in the pencil, and then we're going to outline it in the black pencil, and we're going to be erasing some of the pencil lines. So take your pencil, and we're going to be drawing a head, and the head is a big arched line that goes like that, and so you're going to be st starting at the top of this oval in the center line, the center line that goes down the middle, and the top of your oval, you're starting your, the head of your quail like this, and then you're coming over, and you're coming all the way to the other side of this oval, and just to meet the middle line or just below it like I did. And that's gonna be the quail's head. Okay, so now we're gonna be drawing the tail and the wing. And the tail is, you're going to be on this, this lower rectangle right here. You're going to be coming about right there on the quail's backside. And you're gonna be starting his tail. And it's just sort of like a soft triangle, like that. Just that, it's really simple. And then his wing, or her wing, depending on what you want it to be, a girl or a boy, 
come up to the center line again and about right almost to the mid just almost meeting but just a little farther over from the vertical center line you want to put a dot right there and a dot about right here so both of these dots are on the center horizontal line and then you're going to be drawing the wing and the wing is you're using those dots as just a guide guide points and the wing is another big oval that just comes like that okay and now we're going to be drawing the eyes and the beak and a little more detail on this lower tail edge so the eye is you're going to just right about here, draw a circle, and then I want you to draw another circle inside that, and then we're going to give him a little pupil, or her a pupil, like that. And this pupil doesn't have to be the way I did it, it could be another circle in the middle of this. I made mine over to the side, because eventually what you're going to do is we're not going to put any color into that, that's just going to be white. And now we're going to do the beak. So the beak is about in the middle of this head shape. And the beak is really cute. It's just a little line that goes down like that. And then a curved line that meets it. So you want it to be like a beak shape. So you're just doing a curved line down and then another curved line to meet it. And that's the beak. Now quails have a lot of funny markings on them, and so we're going to make some of those markings. One of the markings is, it almost looks like a smile, but it's really the bottom of the quail's feathers on his head. And, but it really does sort of look like a smile. So you can kind of think of a smile like that, and then make another line next to it like that. See how that kind of looks like a smile? But it's really just the markings of his feathers. And then we're going to do a little more detail onto his tail. So at the bottom of his wing, right about there, I want you to draw a line all the way through his tail. And now this is where I want you to pick up your eraser and just do some erasing on the quail itself, um, things that we aren't going to need. So we're not gonna need this part of the quail's body that goes into his head, so you can erase that right there. And in the middle, these middle lines of his body that where we drew the first center lines, you can erase those. And you can erase this top line above his head and this bottom line up below his body. You can leave this long horizontal line. We'll use that later. And then one more area that you should erase is this little line right there where his body and his tail. We want his tail to be coming off his body and not be a separate part of his body. So if you erase a little bit of his body, just go ahead and touch it back up. But it should look more like that, where there's no line, no pencil line right in that section. Okay, now we're going to be drawing his little top tail. He's got a little, it's sort of like a little um, hat that he wears. And it's sort of cute. If you look up what a quail looks like, they have these little cute little tops that come off the top of their head. And then right below that, they have another marking that goes like that. And then we're going to give him some feet and the easiest thing is just to do two little lines like that. And then you're going to do sort of a long triangle that goes like that. And another little mark that goes like that. And that's just a representation of his feet. So it's two little lines and then a long triangle and then another little long rectangle. And then we can just give him some fun little feathers right here. You can just go like this. You can do really as many of these as you want. I have five rows here, okay? And that is your quail. And now back here, this horizontal line, we're going to assume that he's outside and you can just do like a rough line. I'm sort of doing a jagged line 
like it's grassy area maybe. And then we'll start coloring him. So you can put your pencil away and grab your black pencil. And what I want you to do is I want you to outline your entire quail in the black pencil. And you can do it, you know, as fast as you want or as slow as you want. And if I'm going too fast or you feel like you need to catch up, you can just pause the video and start it up again. But you are going to just be drawing all over your pencil lines. And actually this line should be erased too. I should have done that earlier with you. And if you, if your black lines aren't exactly over the pencil lines, you can go back after you're done with the black lines and erase those pencil lines, okay? So, and you remember, this is a sketch of a bird. It's not, you know, supposed to be a masterpiece work of art. We're drawing a bird and this first drawing of your bird can be not that good or it can be excellent. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. We're trying to do it in a limited amount of time that we have together. So I'm just quickly going over all of my pencil lines. If you want, you could try to do all of this in the black pencil instead of the pencil so you don't have to draw it twice. But sometimes it's just easier on us if we do the first one in pencil and then if we make a mistake, it's easier to erase it. These black colored pencils are not very easy to erase. But see, that didn't take very long to outline. And then do the back. And then if there's any lines that that you you know that you don't like in the pencil, you can just erase it. And it won't erase too much of your black pencil. If it erases a little bit, that's okay. But I'm erasing some of my extra pencil lines. And I'm not doing a, the best job because it is a sketch and it doesn't we don't have to worry about it that much. So now with your black pencil, we're going to color in the quail's head. And the parts that get colored in are this feather top, his little fancy hat that he has. Quails are just such cute little birds. They're round little birds that run along the ground and they you always see them running in like a family. So there's also, you can also do um, maybe a line like this to give him some um, definition of where you're gonna end the color. So this entire area, you're gonna be leaving this guy white and this one and then parts of his eyes. So we're gonna just go ahead and quickly color this black. So his head is gonna be all black, except those funny white lines, the thing that kind of looks like a smile, we're gonna leave those white. And if you wanna use the side of your pencil so you have more, more lead space to color, if you know what I'm talking about, you can take your pencil on the side and you get more lead space so the coloring can go, go, go a little bit faster. It's not as dark, but it works and it does speed up the process. This is the only part that's super black is his head. So just go around and color the whole thing black. And then on his eye, you can just color black the part that's right on the inside circle. So not the very inside circle, because we're gonna leave that white. But the inside, see how it looks like an eye now? And you can make it a little larger if you want, the black part, or you can leave it small. Might look a little better, a little larger. And then when we're done with this drawing, you can go back and fill in, make things a little more colorful if you want. Okay, so now we've done the head and that's all we're gonna do. That's the only part of the, of the quail that we're gonna leave black. 
So now I want you to pick up your light blue pencil and we're going to make this light blue pencil look a little bit gray. Since we don't have a gray color in our set of colors, we're going to just use the blue. And what I want you to do is right in this section, you can just quickly um, color in some blue and go down to his first set of feathers down here. You can just color this all in blue. And it's not a gray, but once it's the rest of the bird is colored in, you'll see that this blue can kind of look a little gray, okay? And we can also go over the blue with some white to make it a lighter. Now, I want you to take your brown, and we're going to color in the back of his body and this wing. And this is where it's a really good idea to grab the side of your lead. If you have a nice sharpened pencil and a long piece of lead like that right there, just take your pencil and color this all in. And if you use the side of the pencil, it colors in a lot faster. And maybe in the weeks ahead, we can start using markers and maybe even crayons um, to do some more art. Pencils take a little bit more patience because it's more of a, you know, it's a small piece of lead and it just takes a little bit longer to color. And just take your brown and use the side of your, of your lead like I did and kind of go up into this blue. So you're kind of blending the brown into the blue a little bit. So it looks like it's sort of a natural progression from the blue into the brown. And then pick up your orange and go over that brown with this orange and it will change the or the brown color and the orange together make a, sort of a rusty color which is a nice color for a quail. Quails have these a whole bunch of really beautiful colors in their feathers and some of the colors are this sort of rusty sort of like terracotta like some of the pots that you know plants come in it's sort of a pretty color and make sure you go up into that blue a little bit. So now you can see by you putting the orange over that brown, it gives you kind of a cool color. And then pick up your light blue pencil again and give the bottom of his tail, except this white part, we're gonna leave all of this white. Do the same thing that we did above with the blue. Right in here, we're gonna make this bottom part kind of look a little gray. And it doesn't look that gray, but you know what I mean. This is this is not an exact replication of what a whale looks like, obviously. This is more like a cartoon, so we can have some fun. Okay, and then what I want you to do is color his, um, his little feet. And you can just pick up a yellow and just color it in. And then take your orange and color, oops, my lead just broke, color over that yellow to sort of add two shades of color there so it's sort of a yellow orange and that is pretty much done on the quail you can always go over some of this bottom part with maybe some brown give it some more definition on the back side maybe do the same thing up here now we're just going to have him be on some grass and put in some blue sky. And so do the same thing. Use the side of your green pencil to color in the grass and just color it in. Don't um, spend a lot of time or agonize unless you want to. You know, if you like to do a lot of detail, of course you can do whatever you want. This is your art. Um, but for the sake of speed here, I'm doing the side of the pencil and I'm just gonna do this entire area in grass, in a grassy green, and then we can go over it in another shade of green. And just quickly go over this so you know that he's sitting on some grass or walking on grass. He's probably looking for some food. And this is, the California quail is one of California state birds, and they are all over California. And they're just the cutest things. They have they run around with their families and the little baby quails are they're so tiny and they're so cute okay so now you can take your darker green and you can go over this and you can even just do it in sections it doesn't even have to be the whole thing you see how I'm I'm just doing it like in random spots 
And if you get it up on the edge of the quail, no worries. You know, he could have been rolling around in this grass and has some grass stains on his. So, and then if you want, you can take some brown and you can put some on the side. You can do some shading of where he's standing. You know, just like a shadow of his body shadow that's on the grass while he's walking. You can do it as dark or as light as you want. Shadows depending on how bright the sun is, will make things either really dark, the shadows really dark, or maybe not so dark. And then let's, let's color in the sky. So you can use your light blue pencil and do the same thing. Use the side of your pen pencil, the side of the edge so that you're going really light. And you don't have to do, you don't have to color in the whole thing. You can just make, you know, let everyone know that it's a sunny blue sky out there, nice blue bright sky and it's the middle of the day and you know it's a nice sunny day and you could even take your other blue and go over that and make it you know uh, I'm just doing the side of my pencil and it sort of looks like there's clouds out there in the sky it's just you can go over the black too because the blue wouldn't show on the black so if you want to do it really quick and then another thing you can do is on that blue sky you can add some yellow in there like there's some sun and maybe even put some yellow down here in this grass and I think we're done and that is a California quail that we just drew now you can watch this video over and over again if you want um, here's another one that I did, like, you know, I showed you. This guy's beak is a little higher, which I think might be a little cuter on that. And I made him a little fatter than this guy. But you have fun, and that's a California quail that you guys just drew. Okay? Thank you. That was a lot of fun.